to my YouTube channel, so I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying this winter weather. I'm honestly loving winter so far. I didn't think I was going to enjoy it, but this lead up to Christmas, I don't know why I'm in a really Christmassy mood and I have been for like two weeks now and it's not even December yet. I'm just so excited. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, this is my first proper Christmas video. This is going to be me showing you my Christmas hamper, sort of like a gift guide for her, if you will. So I've seen these videos fly around the internet and I'm obsessed. Like I've been watching these videos for the past couple of weeks because people were getting them out so early and I was just like, I need to make one of these videos, but I wanted to wait until I had pieces that genuinely, I would genuinely give away. I didn't want to show you anything that I wouldn't give away so all of these pieces are things that I've either bought for myself that I'm treating myself for Christmas or I've bought for people so yeah I've told all my family that they cannot watch this video because I'm giving some of these pieces away so yeah you know that I genuinely love these pieces and yeah there's kind of like a different price range but it's all like smaller pieces like it's not a gift that you would probably give on its own they're kind of in like bundles. So we've got a bit of makeup, a bit of skincare. We've got some thoughtful ideas, which I love. Some, you know, just stocking fillers, a, a real variety of things. So I'm so excited because I've honestly put so much time and effort into planning this hamper. And I've even made like the box for it. I'm obsessed with it. Like how pink and cute is it? I don't know if I've organized it very well, but I'm just obsessed with it. I literally, if I got this hamper, I'd be like, oh my God. So yeah, I just think it's such a great idea. And I haven't even spent that much money like on everything like obviously you have don't have to give someone all of these gifts but if you had like a smaller box and then you had like a selection of three or four gifts that would be amazing because a lot of these pieces are quite thoughtful as well um and they are kind of like in sections if that makes sense so anyway i'm just gonna get straight on with it and start with what should i start with i think i might start with the makeup pieces um Oh, actually, no. Okay, let's start with the kind of obvious pieces that are sticking out in this video. So, I'll start with these slippers, which are actually from Misguided. I believe they're about £10, um, maybe even cheaper than that. I will link them down below anyway, but look how fluffy they are. They also come in black, and I was just like, these I'm obsessed with. So, I actually picked these up to put in a hamper because... I saw these gorgeous silk pyjamas, which were from Misguided also. And I thought, how perfect would these be as a stocking filler? So you've got this gorgeous pink striped satin top, and then you've got the matching bottoms. And I remember they were really quite cheap. I think they were about £20 for the set. Um, but I wanted to get this video out on Black Friday in case anyone wanted to go and buy these pieces with the sale because this I bought just before the sale and I think they're about 20 something for the set which is so good but how gorgeous if you were to get this gorgeous satin set and then also matching slippers I would be obsessed like if that was in my stocking mum actually no I told my mum not to watch this video because some of these pieces I'm actually giving to her not these but I'm not going to say which pieces just in case she actually does watch this video <laughs> um but yeah if anyone bought me some fluffy slippers for Christmas, I would be so happy. And these satin pyjamas, like, I just love them. I'm so obsessed with these. Um, so yeah, I think these, like, as a little stocking filler, would be so cute. So yeah, that's my first little item. Moving on now, I'm gonna move on to also another little gift from Misguided. So I picked up these gorgeous earrings. I'm obsessed with gold accessories at the minute. As you can tell, I've got my gold hoops in from Primark, which will also be a great present. You get in Primark all of these cute little hoops and they come in like packs of two. So you get gold and then you get silver. I think that'd be a great stocking filler. Um, these are from Misguided. They were actually cheaper than £7. They've got £7 written on there, but they were actually cheaper. And they are just so gorgeous because it looks like you've got like three rings in one. Um, so yeah, I just love gold accessories at the minute. I just think they look so cute. The thing that I'm finding is with rings, I want like real gold rings. I think that's what I'm going to try and get for Christmas. And then with like things like earrings and stuff, they don't like rust and like lose their colour as quickly as rings. Because obviously with rings, you're like washing your hands and you know, you're doing a lot of things with your hands. But I find the earrings, um, I can get like cheaper ones from like misguided and pretty little thing that are more like fashionable. But with rings, I want to invest in my rings a bit more, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from like cheap rings because they just go a bit... They just go a bit funny, do you know what I mean? So yeah, I think they would be a great stocking filler. And they have so many gorgeous, like, fashionable earrings on Misguided and Pretty Little, pretty little Thing. I'm honestly obsessed with it. Okay, so the next pieces I want to show you are actually makeup bits. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not one to buy people makeup at all. Um, just because 
everyone has their own preferences, everyone has their own bronzer, everyone has their own eyebrow stuff, everyone has their own lip gloss that they love. There's so many different brands and you never know if you're gonna get it right. But, however, there are a few pieces that I would buy for anyone because these pieces I genuinely love and I know that other people would love if they were to try it. So, the first one is actually this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is absolutely incredible. I've got my mum and my sister on it and I actually used this. Um, it, my friend Tilly bought it to a festival about three or four years ago. It must have been like four or five years ago now. And I just became obsessed with it and ever since I've been using it. And it's just amazing. I would buy this for anyone. It is just such a good mascara. Like I can't even explain it. Like until you use it, you'll realize how good it is. And I actually bought this one off Amazon because it was about, it was about seven pounds something on Amazon, just under eight pound. And on Superdrug and Boots, it's like 11, 12 pound, which is ridiculous. So I will link the Amazon one down below because you're saving like three or four pound and yeah that's really good actually under eight pound for a mascara that's really good as well so yeah this if i was gonna like give someone a little a cute little present i would buy them this and i would also buy them this kiko milano 3d hydra lip gloss i cannot recommend this anymore it is such a gorgeous lip gloss i've been using it for a couple of weeks now um my friend tilly the same girl that i actually got this recommended off she um was wearing this and i asked her to borrow her lip gloss because it looked really nice and i put it on and i was like tilly this is amazing so i took a photo of it and i went into kiko that weekend and bought it because it was just amazing so yeah i feel like these two as like a little pair would be so cute in a stocking or a hamper and i cannot recommend these products enough i'll just show you this lip gloss because it's so gorgeous like it's really nice and creamy it's got like a really nice smell to it as well i don't even know what it smells like I feel like Tilly said what it smelled like, but I can't even remember. But it is just so amazing. Like, I love the packaging and everything. I just think it's so cute. And it's only about $7.99, something like that. And for a lip gloss, that's really good. So, yeah, this with, like, a little nude lip liner, like, I just love. I wear that with just with my Primark nude lip liner. Um, I've actually got it on right now. I don't know if you can see. I, I haven't topped it up properly. But, yeah, those two would be really cute for, like, a little hamper. Um, and also... This is something that I would highly recommend. So I was watching Jordan Lipscomb. I think that's how you say her name. I don't know how you say her last name properly. Jordan Lipscomb, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry if I got it wrong. And I was watching her video and she said that she used this, the Primark foundation and contour stick in caramel. And so I was like, okay, let's go try that out because I run out of my contour stuff and oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. Um, so I just used this just to contour like around there and down my cheekbones. And honestly, I love it so much. And it was £2.50. So this is something that I've been using for a couple of weeks now. And this is definitely something I would buy someone as a little present. Um, like it doesn't even say that it's from Primark on there. But I would be happy if someone bought me that. Just because it's Primark doesn't mean it's not very good. Do you know what I mean? And you're only paying £2.50. So I feel like these three as like a little present together. Like how cute would that be? Um, I would love that if someone bought that for me. So yeah, those are like three makeup products that I would highly recommend just sticking them in a hamper like they're not too expensive you're not going crazy but they're really good pieces that i like really recommend and my friends will use them so yeah highly recommend those another little stocking filler is obviously like little nail polishes so these are from primark you just have to take the one pound off because obviously you don't want that showing and i love the color of this it's like a gorgeous nude like peachy nude um, I don't know if you can see very well, but I just think that's such a nice colour and that is the colour I'm going to go once I take these red nails off. Um, so yeah, I just love that. And for one pound, like I think that's really cute. Just a little cute and easy thing just to stick in um, a stocking or a hamper or something. And you know, it just kind of like fills it up and makes it look really cute. So if you was to get a few of these, like three of these cost three pound and that, that's such a good way to like fill up a hamper, fill up a stocking. So yeah, highly recommend that. Right, now let's move on to, what shall we on to? Okay, we'll do a bit of skincare and then I'll go on to the thoughtful presents. So, skincare, this is for if you're buying for like your mum or your mum-in-law or I can't think of anyone else, your nan, I don't know, someone like that. So these are little Olay Active Moisturisers and, oh, can you see? Hopefully you can see. So I actually bought these in Superdrug. I used to work in Superdrug like I was going to say six months ago. No, it's probably like four months ago. And I actually picked these up quite a few months ago um, because they were on offer. But I just think these are, are such a cute little 
way to like fill up a hamper and it's just like a really like it's a nice present like i just think it's really nice i'd be really happy if i got some like nice moisturizers the thing is with superdrug is you literally just have to keep an eye out because these are the actual retail price of these are 35 pound each which is ridiculous because i got them for like under eight pound each something like that and yeah because they were like retail price a lot i thought oh that's such a great bargain so i bought them and i've been keeping them ever since because i just want to give them to my mom for her birthday or for christmas not really sure which one yet um but i just think they'd be great to like fill up a hamper and yeah you just gotta keep your eye out on like super drug and boost and just like look for some good deals these would be perfect to get like your mum or your mum in law like have a few of these get some flowers have some other like a little skincare maybe like some moisturizer or something that'd be really cute with some flowers like do you know what i mean that'd be such a cute little present altogether so yeah that's good i've also got some other bits that i picked up so this is another little kind of skincare thing so this is just like a little i think it's like a little travel set but it was really cheap at superdrug um and this brand the vitamin e brand when i was at, woo, when i was at superdrug everyone was raving about that brand and it's really cheap they have such a nice um vitamin e moisturizer from superdrug so if anyone sees that online or in store i'd highly recommend getting that because my manager i thought my nail came off then my manager um recommended it when it was like on the sale one time and i bought it for my mum and my mum loved it so yeah i picked up a few of these um because i thought oh it's the same brand so it'd be really cute and these would be perfect to like fill up a stocking fill up a hamper so yeah i love these i've got some more moisturizers because I just bought loads of moisturisers when I went into Superdrug. This is the Simply Pure brand in Superdrug, which is also very cheap. I don't know if you can see very well. And this is just like a rich, is that the rich one? Oh no, this is the light one. I also picked it up in rich, um, in rich. There's a light one and there's a rich one. So yeah, little moisturisers like that. Like a few of these together and a little moisturiser like how cute i just love that i feel like that's such a great stocking filler i keep saying stocking filler like i'm talking about hamper not stocking um so yeah i'm like making a pile over here and then here is what we've got left we've still got quite a few bits left in here um so next up is some garnier micellar cleansing water these would be great like these are just great because i feel like you know what a lot of people still use makeup wipes and i'm just like why i'm literally just like why like everyone knows that they're not very good and you shouldn't be using them um so yeah this is the way forward and these are always on sale like i see these on sale like randomly but in savers they're probably the most the the most cheap the cheapest probably in savers or super drug maybe even wilco might do them quite cheap but like keep an eye out on like tesco's and asda because they often have deals on with these like get two buy one get one free or something so yeah they would be a great stocking filler because more people need to be on the micellar water hype. Like I know it's a massive hype, but I still feel like a lot of my friends and a lot of people still use makeup wipes and I'm like, why? So yeah, that could be a good thing to buy your friends actually. If your friends are still using makeup wipes and they're like, I mm, don't want to buy micellar water, that would be a really great thing. These two together, how cute would that look in a little hamper? Um, this is another thing that I highly recommend. It's the heat protection spray from V05. I love this. I've been using this for ages. It's like quite empty now, so I need to get a new one. But this would be great. Like if anyone wants to buy me this for Christmas, because I've run out, then you can. Um, so yeah, this is like a really good heat protection spray that I highly recommend. I've been using it for months, maybe even like a year. No, probably not a year probably like six months something like that um so yeah that's just really good i'm not sure how much this cost me but i feel like because it's really pretty as well it would look really cute in a hamper especially because i've got this whole like pink theme going on like i have so much pink all of this is like pink but i just think it's so cute okay so we've also got a little lush bath bomb in there because they are really cute just to stick in um a hamper i know the lush ones are quite expensive and you can definitely get bath bombs cheaper elsewhere that are really pretty and things like that the only thing was with this haul, I didn't want to show you things that were like really plasticky. Like, you know, you can get bath bombs and you can pay like quite a lot of money, but just because they're in like a pretty plastic box that you're literally going to see and you're going to open, you're going to be like, oh, that's pretty. But then you're just going to throw the plastic away and you're still just left with like a cheap bath bomb. That's the thing that I struggle with is a lot of these things like they're packaged really nicely, but it's just it's just the packaging like you still got the same product inside like the product isn't amazing you're just paying more for the packaging which i don't really get which kind of annoys me about christmas but 
let's not go there okay so moving on now to the more thoughtful part of the video so this is my favorite type of gifts to give anyone who knows me knows i'm obsessed with quotes i'm obsessed with the law of attraction i'm obsessed with self-development books all of that kind of jazz i just love it like my friend sam i remember for his birthday i bought him a book i think it was think and grow rich if you're watching this sam i hope you've read that book because i actually really want to borrow it um i might ask him if i can borrow it actually because I wanted to keep it for myself, but then I thought, no, I have to give it to him. Um, so yeah, my friend Chloe actually gave me this. This is a good example. She gave me this and it's the mindfulness for every day. This was when I was kind of like going through a rough patch a couple of months ago. And it's just so cute. Um, she just popped around with it. And you know what? She put a little note in it and I was like, that is just so cute. And I keep it on my windowsill just because like, to be fair, Chloe buys me really thoughtful gifts. She bought me the tree of life necklace which i absolutely love i think that's for my 21st birthday and yeah i remember one time i put um i wrote loads of notes or did she do that for me i think she wrote me loads of post-it notes with like positive vibes on it there were literally like 20 i think she did that for me and i just thought like when i think back to things like that it's like those presents are the best presents so yeah, I just thought I would put a few of these ideas in there. So the post-it note idea, that's such a good idea. Like if you don't want to spend a lot of money for your friend on Christmas or on their birthday, write some like positive quotes, write some of your good times down on post-it notes, pop them in a little envelope, or even do the thing where it's like, open this when, open this envelope when you're having a bad day, open this envelope when something's gone wrong or blah, 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 and write a little note in it or a little diary entry or a little, thing that you love about them like stuff like that just melts my heart and I just love it so yeah I keep this on my windowsill just because I'm like oh it reminds me of Chloe and it just reminds me like you know you've got so many people around you who actually love and care about you and yeah you can hear my mum outside I'm filming so I'll start off with the law of attraction book so this is called the secret you've probably heard of it everyone talks about it it's become really popular this year i find i bought this maybe last year maybe the year before i've read it a couple of times and i just love it the law of attraction i honestly believe is so real and so true um and it's all about just positive thinking and when you have positive thoughts that leads to positive things happening in your life just to dumb it down <laughs> um but yeah there's so many like different branches coming off from the law of attraction i find it so interesting um there's so many youtube videos on it if you you know if you're interested in it, I would highly recommend, I would highly recommend it. I'd highly recommend a self-development podcast as well. It's just so easily found online these days, these kind of like positive videos and just self-development help, helping you develop your life. There is so much out there on the internet nowadays. Anyway, we're going off topic. So anyway, I would highly recommend buying someone the secret because also buying yourself it buy yourself it first and then buy it for someone else because i just think it is such a great book it's just a great place to start if you're wanting to change your life change your outlook on life change your the way you think and i just think it's such a nice thoughtful present for someone and yeah i just think it's such a great book so yeah great place to start with that also this like buying them a cute little mindfulness book Another book that I've actually just seen down the side of my bed because I started reading it again the other day is The Power of Now. I would highly recommend buying this book for someone. Buying it for yourself first of all because um, it's all about living in the now and just appreciating what you've got right now. Not worrying about the future, not worrying about the past. You can't change anything. All you have to focus on is the now and it teaches you loads of techniques and it just kind of like reminds you that life is crazy and like everything is just crazy. Like look around you. This is just life is crazy in my opinion anyway i just find it crazy and i think reading those books really just grounds you and just makes you think like the, i am like on this earth and I'm, this is like a one in a billion what is it it's like one in a billionth chance of me being here right now something crazy like that anyway going off topic but those books i think they're great if you want to really give yourself give yourself well give yourself treat yourself to those books why not or if you want to treat your friends or your family to start off with like self-development and start off with like the law of attraction and start off with just sort of improving their mental well-being improving positivity around them so yeah those are two books i highly recommend starting with another thing i would highly recommend doing is buying someone a notepad or a journal or diary entry something like that i have always kept a diary i actually found my diaries from when i was in like year six the other day every year i keep a diary um 
and I just really it really helps me keeping a diary journaling all that kind of thing I could do a whole video on this because I'm so I'm really passionate about it I'm really passionate about journaling because I just think it's great to get all of your ideas down onto paper or getting all of your bad emotions or even your happy emotions onto paper so that you don't have to keep them stored in your head because you know sometimes it can just be a messy place going on so you just kind of need to get things out and when they're out there and they're on paper it's great to then just be able to let go because it's there and if you want to come back to it you can so yeah I love talking about this topic, I think it's so great. So yeah, if I was to give someone a notepad or a journal or a diary entry, I would definitely write a little note with it saying what to use it for because they might just think you're buying them a notepad and they'd be like, why are you buying me a notepad? So I'd probably buy them a notepad or a journal with a pen and also write a little card or a note saying how to use the notepad. So maybe put something like, use this notepad when you're feeling stressed or use this notepad to write down all of your amazing ideas for your podcast or for your YouTube or for your new cooking documentary, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Make it personal, make sure you've got a note explaining what to use it for and just to sort of give them hope of using it, if you know what I mean? And like explain to them how they can use it and you know what I mean. So yeah, I just think there's such, I love journals, I love diaries, I love everything like that. I just think it's so great to get all your ideas down. I use it for like YouTube ideas, I use it for fashion, I use it for journaling, I use it when I'm feeling really shit and stressed and just to get everything onto paper. So yeah, that is like something I definitely recommend. Now, I'm just gonna go through the rest of what's in here. Um, so I have actually popped in this cute little bag because I actually bought this bag from a charity shop now i popped this in just to show you that you can get some amazing little cute vintage bags from charity shops and if you don't want to spend a lot but you want to buy your friend maybe a little handbag or a little accessory maybe some sunglasses or some vin you know like the vintage bags like you can find so many in charity shops so i just wanted to show you that you can buy some really cool bags in charity shops so yeah this literally cost me like two pound not that i'm giving anyone this for christmas because i'm obsessed with it and it's mine um but i would highly recommend going and have a look in charity shops just to like buy some vintage bags and you can get them really cheaply so yeah that's a tip for you the next thing i've got to show you should i show you these yeah let's show you these so i've got loads of face masks and these are just so great to fill up a stocking fill up the back of a hamper i line these like all along the back and so yeah i've got quite a few some of them are like lip hydrate things um so yeah these would be such a great present just to fill up a stocking fill up the back of a hamper make it look pretty you know i've also got a foot mask in there that i've had for ages so i thought i'd just stick that one in there um now let's talk about the last present that's in here oh my god it looks horrible because it's empty and that is a little acrylic set so i actually did these acrylics my myself <laughs> they're appalling i know um i did them about a week ago and you can actually buy from amazon the um what's it called the actual nail and then you stick it on yourself um so yeah these were like 7.99 eight pounds something like that and then all i bought was this i've got the one that i used was this elegant touch nail glue from Superdrug, which is really good but you can also get it from amazon for a bit cheaper um so this is the best nail glue like i'd highly recommend this elegant touch one and you literally just use the glue brush over your finger and then just stick the nail on and bob's your uncle and the nail glue is actually really good you will get a few like pinging off here and there but all you've got to do is just glue it back on um so yeah highly recommend these for a little christmas or stocking hamper okay so that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed that this is my my hamper done and dusted this is just a box that i bought from ikea for pound fifty, covered in this wrapping paper that is from wilco's that cost me literally like two pound um so yeah i just think that's such a great idea and such a cheap like cheap hamper idea for christmas like you don't have to buy these gorgeous like wooden hampers you can literally just buy a box and cover it in i was about to say wallpaper don't do that cover it in wrapping paper um so yeah do let me know down in the comments which gift was your favorite and if you're going to use any of my ideas for your hamper also let me know if there's anything i missed out or anything that you're going to be putting in hampers this year i would love to know 
I have so many more Christmassy videos coming your way. Honestly, I've been so excited to film my Christmas videos. I've just been waiting for months and I've had all these ideas and now I can use the ideas. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I have plenty more Christmassy vlogs coming. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also like this video if you liked it, obviously. And yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.